I guess I guess UFC got rid of USADA, and <laughs> TKO was just kind of followed suit at the top of the chain. Well, you know, if you're Endeavor, I mean, you're in the business of representing movie stars, and look what some of these movie stars, like Dwayne Johnson and such, you know, look how they look when they go into these the, movie roles that they have. Look at the entire cast of the Von Erics. How sure. amazing, Mike, is it that Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, found the one guy he could portray that was bigger than him, and now... I would argue that he, The Rock might have to take steroids to be as big as Mark Kerr. Just amazing. Mark Kerr was gigantic. The Rock, most of the time you see him, is gigantic. Randy Orton, we said, was gigantic when he came back. AJ Styles is gigantic coming back. I mean, unbelievable. Just He had about a month off or so. I don't know how long it's been. Six weeks, two months, whatever it's been. But the man has been working out diligently in that time. Comes back during the main event to save what we thought save L.A. Knight and Randy Orton from a beatdown from the bloodline, but then goes and lays out L.A. Knight with a forearm, leaves the ring, walks by the bloodline, and that's how the show went off the air. So some drama there and what seemed to be a really easy setup for a six-man tag between the two sides, now not so easy. Yeah, definite drama. I'm trying to remember through my notes, through my you know, the limited amount of brain cells I still have. If there was any beef between AJ Styles and LA Knight in the past, and from what I remember, it was the bloodline that took out AJ Styles. So obviously you have that built in there, but I don't remember. I, you know, maybe there was an issue between them when LA Knight was still working as a heel prior in the summer. I'd have to go back and check if anybody Maybe AJ remembers. wanted to be a model and went up to uh, Max Dupree and then, you know, he shot him down or something like that. There was the, the fact that when AJ did get laid out and got loaded into that ambulance, it was LA Knight that took his spot and ended up having that match with Roman Reigns teaming up with John Cena against the Bloodline and then getting the world title match against Roman Reigns. And it seemed to be from the interaction that he had earlier in the night with Randy Orton, considering L.A. Knight was still being pretty cocky and obnoxious. He was just being L.A. Knight, I guess. But, you know, yeah, he's a, he's a good guy right now, but he still has the ability to seemingly rub people the wrong way at the uh, drop of a hat. Well, why should he cowtail to Randy Orton? You know what I mean? Just because Randy yeah. Orton shows up, why should LA Knight take a backseat to him? He has his own issues. He was screwed over by the bloodline as well. Um, they have done, a, I think, a really good job recently of setting up a number of contenders, not necessarily for Roman Reigns, but people who you believe could win the Royal Rumble. right? And I actually think yeah. it seems as if they're going towards Randy Orton versus Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble which, of course, is a big match, but I think if Randy Orton was in the Rumble itself, it would add a huge amount of intrigue to his comeback because you'd be wondering, is he going to get that title shot? Is he going to get the match that he's been looking for for the past 18 months? Uh, and you would have another contender in there because the way I look at it now, we have, obviously, Cody Rhodes, CM Punk. You've got LA Knight in the mix. You could always make a case, of course, for Sami Zayn or Kevin Owens, although it seems they've been out of the loop a little bit. Jimmy Uso as well. And we can't forget it. It seems as if in the not-too-distant future, we're going to have Jimmy Uso on the baby face side as well. That's possible. The interaction between the bloodline, between Roman Reigns, Solo, and Jimmy was fantastic. I don't believe Paul Heyman uttered a word in the segments that they were in, but just everything about it. When Roman came out and said, you know, hey, there's, you know, if I fall, you know, there's going to be one man that keeps everybody, you know, this group, the bloodline at the top of the mountain. One man has bent over backwards this entire time, sacrificed himself and knows what it takes to be the tribal chief. And Roman looked over. It's Jimmy who hyped up everybody coming down to the ring and he was all into it. And there it was. Roman turned to him and said, Jimmy, join me 
in welcoming Solo Sokoa as your next tribal chief. And he embraced him, gave him a big hug, and Jimmy you saw was crestfallen. Then later on, Roman makes the match. It's going to be Randy Orton against Jimmy Uso tonight. Jimmy's like, hey, I mean, Solo, this sounds like a, a great job for, for Solo. I mean, he's going to be, you know, the next heir. He's the tribal chief, right? And Roman said, no, nah, but look, you got to understand, it's promotion season. So I'm sure promotion SZN will be appearing on some merchandise real soon. He says that to Jimmy. Jimmy starts to feel good about himself, gets excited, says yeet, which Roman didn't like. They slowly look at each other. No yeet. And Jimmy Uso goes out there. A little bit later on, Jimmy and Solo. Jimmy's backstage. He says, man, Heyman's not talking. This feels like a setup, man. Like, like Solo, if I'm being set up, you tell me, right? Like, you tell me, right? Solo finally says, man, we're brothers. But as he does so, he's getting that Samoan spike thumb, just kind of letting that go. And Jimmy looks at it and just kind of is resigned to knowing his fate as he went out there. And obviously, everybody stayed together. Solo came out right before the end. L.A. Knight chased him off. Jimmy ends up losing via RKO, which led to all of the carnage at the end. And AJ Styles coming back out. But did you like? I mean, I love that interaction between them. I know a lot of people are tired of the Bloodline storyline and everything, but I think they keep it fresh enough for me, at least, you know, again, in the small times Roman is there, his interaction really makes it. And Jay on Raw and Jimmy on SmackDown now, you know, being a part, again, they are they're, they were great together as a team, but, you know, we did see almost everything we could possibly see of them. This Bloodline storyline, you know, as far as them as singles, I think they've done a great job. I've really liked the progression, although it seems as if Jimmy is in essentially the same place as he has been the past few months, being the underling to Roman Reigns, being a member of the Bloodline. But his progression as a character has been great because he's no longer like the puppy dog trying to get back in. He's now, he understands what's happening. He knows that he's being set up, that he's being kind of left by the wayside and being used by the bloodline. And as he slowly comes to terms with that, he turns more and more baby face. He becomes more and more of a sympathetic character. And I think that when he finally turns, it's going to be you know, just as big of a reaction as when Jay did. Carmelo Hayes defeated Grayson Waller. Kevin Owens defeated Austin Theory in the U.S. title tournament first round. There were inset program promos of Logan Paul uh, insulting both baby faces and hyping up Waller and, uh, and, and Theory. Kevin Owens, obviously, this feels like it is leading towards Kevin Owens and Logan Paul. Logan said Kevin Owens dresses like a fifth grader who takes dodgeball during PE way too seriously. I thought that was a good line there. But, uh, again, they'll face off next week alongside uh, Bobby Lashley against Santos Escobar, which hopefully is, ends up being a really good match. The only other thing really coming out of this was Karrion Cross and Scarlett Bordeaux are getting another shot again, Tom. I know we don't have a whole lot of time here left in this segment, but what do you think about another push of Karrion Cross? Hunter uh, hired a lot of guys back, Bronson Reed, DIY, guys like that, gave him pushes again. Seems to really be about Karrion Cross. Well, it's a different gimmick than anybody else up there has. There's, when you look at the lay of the land, I don't see too many spooky guys out there. Not too many people using magic as part of the act besides <laughs> Karrion Cross and what, what's her name? Al Alva Edison, who's it's a Scarlet Bordeaux? No, not her. Oh, that tag team. Oh, uh, Alba and Isla. Yeah. yeah. Well, we, 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 need, lost. we need a good spookster I, nowadays, you know? I guess we do. Dan Housen can't be the only one putting hexes and curses on everybody. Orange sold the knee, which is. He got attacked. I don't remember him getting attacked. Matt Menard on said he was attacked the night before, which would have been ROH. So it's before probably going. ROH. Are you smoking or what's happening what? here? I know, what the fuck what is, is happening? I have no Bro. Clue. What is this? Dude. I think there's not, I've changed nothing. Smoking in this is room. bad enough for you, but you don't need <laughs> right. to do it on the air. What is happening here? 
God. I'm glad I'm not the only one experiencing this. Did you die? <laughs> I've ascended. Yeah. I don't know. And it looks like it's changing colors, too, which is weird. It's going from red to blue. What the hell's flashing? <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, I everyone's saying, this, shut man. your lines, dude. They're completely closed. Oh, my God. Maybe you open them. What is... There we go. The sun moved. Well, uh, yeah, the sun... Actually, the... No! Earth... Oh. Okay. The sun will continue to move, <laughs> and then we'll be able to see again. We then had uh, Abaddon take on Trish Adora. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.